Hers, this is Dravin and in this episode I'm going to talk about how you can build your own copilot agent using Dataverse as a data source. So first of all let me explain you the use case over here. So here I have created one agent for balance checker. This agent basically gives the details from the Dataverse table where I have stored the different information of the different customer. Let's say First of all, let me show you the Dataverse structure. So here I have different Dataverse column called customer name, account opening which means when they open the account, what is the active balance of the customer, what is the account status whether it's active or inactive. Then we do have some more columns called customer type which is telling you that okay this customer is a high valued or medium valued or low valued. So it is showing that and with that it will show you the customer number as well which is the unique number of the customer. Now over here this Dataverse table have these are the different data type of columns over there. So the column which I've shown you here the customer name is our primary column which is single line of text column and apart from that these are the data type of the other columns. Now the thing is that we have built the copilot agent on top of the Dataverse where it will understand the natural language and give you the output over here. So let's say for an example over here you can see this is my agent. Now you can ask any question to your agent in a natural language. So let's say for an example I am asking a question over here that how many active accounts are there and let's say let me hit enter and what happened here is I just asked this question in the natural language and the agent will give you the answer in a very good format. So it is saying you that okay you have 55 active account at this moment and now it is providing you the reference link as well to verify the data. If you click on the reference link basically it will opening the default view of the table and over here you can able to see all the data. So you can see total I can see 55 records over here which means that records count are proper and it is a perfect result. You can ask some more question as well to the copilot chatbot if you want. So let's say if you are asking that how many total account open in this year. Basically it will just query the data against 2024 because right now the video recording time is 2024. So it should show me the 2024 account information. So it is showing me that no account opened. Yeah, let's verify that it show me the output over here as well and over here you can see that this is account opening date but nowhere I can see 2024 right which is right even if I scroll down I can't see anywhere 2024 even if I'm going to my second page I cannot see anywhere 2024 so which is a absolutely perfect result right so now this is the end outcome that I wanted to show you now let's build up this chatbot from scratch with me for that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on the power platform also 70 percent of you are watching the content but not subscribing the channel it's free for you but it motivates me in lots of other way so make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and do comment it out if you like this video first of all let me show you the dataverse structure in Dataverse, I do have multiple columns over here and each data type is defined over here. Make sure your primary column is some sort of text data type which is easy to understand for the user. You should not enter any kind of GUID or those kind of column into the primary column. If you are planning to use Dataverse as a data source or agent for your copilot. Okay, apart from that I have some other data type like account opening date, account status, active balance, then bank balance checker, customer number and customer type. Okay, it's fairly simple. Couple of data type are the choice column like active or inactive account, like customer type is also a choice like high value, medium value and low value. Also make sure you configured your default view properly. So make sure you go to your view and go to your active balance, balance checker because this is the view which is going to be consumed by the Dataverse every time and it will show you that as a reference every time. So make sure all the columns are something which you create properly over here inside your default view and publish your view. All right. Now we need to start our journey to build the copilot agent. So let's get started. So to start with the copilot agent, first of all, let's go to copilotstudio.microsoft.com and now let's click on create button over here. Once you click on create button, it will 
basically show you the option to create a new agent over here. Simply click on new agent. Now this will open one blank screen to create the copilot agent. Over here you can see that this is the name of your agent and over here you can give the instruction as well to, for your copilot agent to build the agent over here. Now simply as a developer we will skip to configure option over here because I don't want to provide any instruction in the natural language. I want to be very precise over here. So I will simply click on skip to configure over here and let's provide the name of the agent first. So here I am providing my agent name as bank balance checker agent. So I created my agent name as bank balance checker agent YT. Here you can upload any icon if you want. Right now I don't want to upload it, so keep it blank. Now here you need to provide the description of your agent that use some words to describe what your agent should help with, including your audience and your end goal over here. Here I am just typing some sort of description to provide some sort of context to my agent. I am providing that okay, you are acting as a bank staff and answer to the bank employee or customer for their balances and any other information if required. So I'm just providing this kind of context. Now here you need to provide some instruction that okay, what should be the behavior of the agent? Like uh, how it should answer it? You need to provide that instruction. So I'm providing some sort of instruction like use the normal language tone. Don't use some hard term which are difficult to understand. Okay, I'm just providing this kind of instruction over here and now simply I need to click on create after that. Also there is an option available over here to add a knowledge. When you click on add a knowledge you will be able to see data versus grayed out at this moment but you don't need to worry about that at this moment. You simply need to click on that create that and after that we will connect data verse over there. So let's just click on cancel here and let's click on create option over here. So let's click on the create button. And as soon as you do that activity, basically it will setting up your agent. This will take some moment to set up. And once your agent is set up, this is how it will look like on your page. Now we need to go to the next step. So our agent is created. Next step is to configure the knowledge to our agent and over here we will use dataverse as our agent. So let's click on add knowledge from here. As soon as you do that activity, you will be able to see the dataverse option. Let's select that. And now from here, you need to pick up your appropriate dataverse table. Now in my case, what is my dataverse? So my dataverse table name is this one, balance checker. Okay, so I need to provide that table name over here. So you can search over here, balance checker. And here I find that bank balance checker. Just provide the dataverse table over here. So I'm selecting that and simply click on next button from here. I'm selecting next. Now over here, it will show you the preview of your data and over here, it is showing you that table option over here as well. So make sure that you are able to see your data over here properly. So yes, that's good. That's what exactly I was looking for. And now we need to click on next button. So click on that. Over here, it will show you the again, the knowledge name, knowledge description. And over here, there is an option available to define the synonyms and glossary. So let's say for an example, for any of your column, if you want to define some sort of synonyms, you can do it over here. Okay. And glossary, which means that you can enhance your agent's understanding and responses by defining some domain specific terms and acronyms. Now, what are these two? Let's get, have a look. Okay. So what we will do here is simply let's go to the synonyms option and click on edit. As soon as you do that, you will be able to see all the column names over here. Okay. All the columns name that you have created into your table will appear over here. Now let's say account opening date. Let's say you want to add some sort of synonyms that what does it mean by? You can provide that synonyms over here. Let's say here I'm providing some synonyms like, okay, it can also considered as account opening date. Okay. Uh, I can also add like account start date. 
okay this kind of synonyms you can add it for your column and maybe you can just provide some sort of description as well the date when bank account was opened so i'm just adding like this the date when bank account for the customer is opened right it is always good to provide a proper synonyms and description so that copilot will give you the better result as an end outcome now let's say account status so maybe i can i can define something like this uh maybe account is active or inactive something like this if someone is asking account is active or inactive maybe this column i can consider like this as well or maybe active and inactive account maybe that kind of name i can also provide it here and maybe then i can provide some sort of description over here that okay shows if customer is active or inactive something like this okay similar way active balance which means that maybe we can consider as a bank balance okay this kind of synonyms you can add here and click on done and maybe we can provide a description shows active bank balance okay so better result it is good if you provide the proper synonyms over here okay now i'm not doing it for all the columns at this moment okay uh, customer name i can define that as a client name as well right client name all right so it can consider either customer name or client name okay and that's pretty much it i'm not doing much more thing here let's go back so we added our synonyms okay similar way in glossary you can define any particular term if you want to enhance i don't want to build any data glossary at this moment but let's say if you have any kind of data glossary like if you are building some sort of chatbot like uh, high temperature low temperature base and if you want to tell your chatbot that okay high temperature means if your temperature is in between this degree to this degree then high temperature maybe you can define those glossaries over here but now i'm not I'd want to do anything here so i will simply click on back button from here and now i will simply click on add and finish up my step number 3 over here so let's click on add and here we are our knowledge database is added perfectly over here now let's go to the knowledge section from here let's go here and make sure that once you add your knowledge it will be in the ready stage when you can see this ready stage which means that now your database is perfectly ready for this chatbot to answer the questions okay and now if you click on that you will be able to see the detailing as well that okay when you edit it you can still able to go to all the steps that you have done so far over here and over here you will be able to see the a different kind of synonyms and glossaries that you have defined for your model okay next step we need to go to the topic section and over here we need to go to the system topic and from here you need to select the conversational boosting option from here let's click on that and over here now we need to provide the data source to create a generative answer for our chatbot or our agent so click on this action and click on edit option from here as soon as you click on edit it will open up this kind of interface now over here first of all in knowledge source you need to supply the knowledge data source that we just configured from our dataverse so make sure you turn on that option and as soon as you do that it will show you the knowledge source which you just configured so select this option from here and basically this will add this knowledge source over here also there is one more option available over here called classic data which means that this ai will use its own general knowledge but we don't want to use it we want our answer only from our dataverse only so we will only keep this option on and we will simply turn off this option over here and simply save it let's save the stuff and here we are we are ready for testing our chatbot now once you are done it just a matter that you need to publish your agent from here so let's click on publish button as soon as you click on publish it will just show you this pop up and click on publish publishing will take few moments so just wait for it and here we are we have successfully published our agent now it's time to test your agent so let's click on test your agent from here and over here there are couple of things available as well so let's say track between the topics we can just turn it on and now let's get started for testing the things 
So first, it is showing you that hi, I'm balance checker agent. Uh, you and just blah 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 some sort of greeting message it is showing to you. Now you can ask start typing the questions over here. So let me first type a question over here like okay how many active accounts I do have at this moment okay so so I'm just asking a question here how many active accounts and let me hit enter from here. So let's see what it come up with an answer. So it is showing you the message that you have total 55 active accounts and over here you will be able to see the link of the view as well. Let's click on that and see whether the number is correct or not. And here I am with the result. So this is my view which I configured and over here you can see that total I have 55 records which means that this result is proper. Now let me add one more question over here. So let me ask a question that how many high valued customer we have. Okay, so I'm just asking this question and hit enter. And over here it is showing me that you have 17 high valued customer. And over here if you look at the view, this is what it is showing you as a result. And again, here maybe you can just check or filter maybe your data high valued and let's see what it come up as a result. So if you filter that you can see you are getting 17 record over here which means that this result is correct. Let me add one more question over here that customer names whose bank balance is more than 50k. Okay I'm just asking this kind of natural language question okay and now let's see what it come up with an answer to me over here. So basically within the fraction of second it just answered me that you have three customer with bank balance exceeding $50,000. They are Jack Blue, Uma Green and Vera Blue. Okay and if you click on that you will be able to see this thing. Okay and probably you can verify that. Okay I'm not verifying that I'm trusting the co-pilot but yeah this is a great result. Right now let's ask one more question over here. I'm asking something like this. My customer ID is cost 026. Can you tell me my bank balance and account opening date? And let's hit enter. And this is simply giving me this answer over here that your bank balance is this one and account was opened on October 9, 2021. Isn't it cool? I love this copilot. It is giving the perfect result. And again, this is completely on top of your dataverse. That's a good thing. Now you have seen that you didn't take lots of effort for training your model. You just use this copilot agent as a UI for your AI and build up this whole chatbot. Now you can integrate this agent anywhere you want. You can integrate in your teams, you can integrate in your public facing website, you can integrate in your SharePoint wherever you want. So yeah, that's pretty much it I wanted to cover up for today's session. Now in next session, we will integrate this agent with the Microsoft Teams. But see you in the next video. If you are for the very first time to my channel, make sure you hit thumbs up, subscribe my channel and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. Looking for any paid training or paid consultation, the website link and all the links available in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this content and have a great day ahead. Goodbye.